Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by a new sponsor, WaveTech. Want to welcome them in. Uh, you see their website right there, wavetechmedical.com. What they provide are medical solutions through sound waves, chronic pain, neuropathy, and much, much more. It's revolutionary stuff. Visit the site, see for yourself. I'm going to be turning over. I, I tore up my back this summer. I'm going to be giving them a shot at fixing that, and we'll talk about that on the air. See how well it works, I guarantee you. From, from everybody I've talked to, my back's going to be healed up real quick. WaveTech, see for yourself, wavetechmedical.com. Visit that site today. We appreciate them being on the Sports Source. Good, good company to have on board. All right, this is the final word. 90 minutes has led to this. It's time for the final word. Whether you going to do it or not, this mess. Only on the Sports Source. People out there have ever heard that recording it got passed around it was supposed it was a preacher who was drunk supposedly and that's the end of it but anyway go search for it online <laughs> uh, i looked this up yesterday tennessee is 118 and 95 since the advent of the sports source we just finished our 17th <laughs> football season wow. 118 and 95 this will be this year's bowl game will be the 10th that we've covered in those 17 seasons and uh, i just wanted to thank all of you guys for the parts you played in that and Chuck, you were in year one. Sterling, you were in year one. Thanks to all these guys. Thanks to our sponsors, and thanks to you. Want to get that out of the way. Uh, also wanted to point out that this is the first year in four seasons we didn't do a mean tweet. Now, technically, <laughs> we could have. <laughs> <laughs> there were a couple games we could have, but we didn't do it. So, so try to be nice this year, but no mean tweets. We'll have to work on that next year. Last thing I wanted to throw out to you guys, though, was uh, UT's best win of the season. What was it? What was the best win of the season? I'm going Kentucky. Seven win team on the road, getting a 13 point hole. You rally, especially considering Kentucky with Lynn Bowden. People wanted to say they were, you know, shaking up. They were almost better with him. So I'd take Kentucky by a long shot. Tennessee only beat two teams with a winning record this year, not counting Chattanooga. But well, no, Chattanooga was six and six too. But Kentucky was one of them. UAB was the other, nine and three. Um, just well, best win real quick. Yeah, that may be right because of on the road. I'll say Mississippi State because of the timing. Yes. You, hadn't, you hadn't broken That's through mine. yet. Yeah, I go with Mississippi State because it was the first sign that, wait a second, this defense is actually stopping the run now? And okay. the way they responded at the end of the game with that drive. Yes. yes. I don't know about best, but most satisfying to me, I've said it earlier, was South Carolina and finally beating Will Muschamp. Okay. Sterling? Mississippi State, without question. Kentucky, because you had things go wrong and you had to battle back and you had to play through the end of the game. I thought that was just one of those games that showed what you could do and had a lot more belief. Yeah, that's the best road win. I'm going with South Carolina, but – I also want to take a moment to say thank you for everything that you've done yeah, for thank us. You, John. No, no, no. John. You, John. 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 Time's out. Time's out. Thank you. Appreciate you. Know, Thanksgiving you. Appreciate over. you. You've been consistent through all. Like a lot of the fans don't know the amount of work that you put into it. Exactly. All right. All right. <laughs> now he's wanting some extra. <laughs> Thanks to all these guys. Thanks to you, and we will see you next Sunday. Right back here.